There's a principle in our religion which says la ta'at li makhluqin fi ma'siyati al-khaliq that there is no obedience to creation in disobedience to the creator. So if there is a disobedience to uh, Allah Azza wa and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam you cannot obey anybody amongst creation. Never mind al-Imam Suyuti, your own mother and father who gave you everything in this world, you're not allowed to follow them if it's in obedience to Allah and his messenger. So whether al-Imam Suyuti or other than al-Imam Suyuti said that it's okay to do it, you're not allowed to do it. But where your question is important is that if a person did it, following al-Imam Suyuti, blindly following him, and did not know that where's the truth, will that person be punished or not? That's a question. And in response to that, that person will not be punished. Because in Islam, the one who is jahil, ignorant, is excused. His action is still wrong, but he's excused because he did not know. So Allah subhanahu he only, a person is only deserving of punishment after knowing something is wrong and then continue to do it. But if a person does it out of ignorance and did not know, but they heard a scholar and they thought this scholar is, is a good scholar, is a pious scholar, and then they followed him, then this person is not punished. But is the action right or wrong? The action is still wrong. And the minute that the person knows that, okay, Imam Fulan said it's okay, but the Prophet ﷺ did not do this, then he's not allowed to follow him. And there's narrations from the Sahaba, like what occurred with Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum and others, when he said to the people, Qala Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and people replied, وَلَكِنْ قَالَ أَبُوْ بَكْرُ عُمَرْ But Abu Bakr said this and Umar said this. How did Ibn Abbas reply? يُوشِكُنْ تَنْزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ حِجَارَةٌ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ He said, I fear that stones will thunder upon you from the skies. أَقُولُ قَالَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ تَقُولُونَ قَالَ أَبُوْ بَكْرُ عُمَرْ I say, the Messenger of Allah said, you say, Abu Bakr Umar said. So if that was with, with regards to Abu Bakr Umar رضي الله عنهما, then how about any other Imam or Shaykh with all due respect to him came afterwards? So it's never an excuse to follow any other person if you know that the Prophet ﷺ said or did differently. But will the person be punished if he was ignorant? No, he's excused.